the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. 2020 marks 100 years since those words were ratified, becoming the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution. The speakers you are about to hear from will highlight the events that led to the passage of the 19th Amendment, along with the fight for true equality under the law that followed for many years thereafter. The common thread of the women's suffrage movement has been the brave leaders who stood up for equality, challenged the status quo, and opened doors for future generations. We will forever be indebted to these trailblazers, and we owe it to them to share their stories and continue striving for greater diversity and inclusion in the legal profession and beyond. The Seneca Falls Convention held in 1848 is known as the meeting that launched the women's suffrage movement in America. Suffragists including Lucretia Mott and Elizabeth Cady Stanton convened a meeting of more than 200 women and 40 men in the Seneca Falls, New York. Stanton read the declarations of sentiments and grievances which detailed the injustices inflicted upon women in the United States and called upon women to organize and petition for their rights. The declaration was adopted and signed along with 12 resolutions that called for equal rights for women. After the Seneca Falls Convention, a series of women's rights conventions were held during the 1850s. These conventions eventually led to the formation of the American Equal Rights Association, which included white and black women and men dedicated to the goal of universal suffrage. Throughout the late 1800s and early 1900s, suffragists organized, advocated, and even performed acts of civil disobedience to achieve suffrage. The 19th Amendment to the Constitution, providing for the right to vote for women, was adopted by Congress in 1919 and sent to the states for ratification. From there, it had to be ratified by three-fourths of the states, which at the time was 36 out of 48 states. Finally, in 1920, Tennessee became the 36th state to ratify the 19th Amendment, and the amendment was added to the United States Constitution. While many suffragists left public life after the passage of the 19th Amendment, some, like Alice Paul, believed the battle for women's equality had yet to be won. In 1922, she authored the text of what would become the Equal Rights Amendment, which was designed to guarantee equal legal rights for all American citizens, regardless of sex. To this day, the Equal Rights Amendment has not been ratified to the Constitution, although there has been a renewed push to adopt the amendment in recent years. Aside from efforts to amend the Constitution, equal rights activists have also sought legislative reform. Examples include the Equal Pay Act of 1963, which prohibits gender-based wage discrimination and the 2008 Fair Pay Act, which allows workers who face pay discrimination to pursue legal remedies in federal court. Although it was a remarkable expansion of democracy, the 19th Amendment still left many people behind. Chinese Americans were not granted citizenship and therefore could not vote until the repeal of the Chinese Exclusion Act in 1943. However, immigration restrictions targeting Asian countries remained in place until the passage of the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965. Throughout the early and mid 20th century, Native Americans eventually won the right to vote by fighting for it. State by state. African Americans faced Jim Crow era suppression from Reconstruction into the 1960s. Civil rights leaders, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Fannie Lee Hanger, advocated for legislation that would prohibit racial discrimination, culminating in the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. In 1990, Congress passed the American with Disabilities Act, 
requiring that polling centers have accommodations for individuals with disabilities. Federal, state, and local lawmakers have enacted reforms to expand access to the ballot, including early voting. Recently, organizing efforts by women have fostered a new wave of women's rights advocacy. In January 2017, millions of people around the world participated in the Women's March, one of the largest peaceful demonstrations in history, demanding civil and voting rights equality. A century after the ratification of the 19th Amendment, voter disenfranchisement continues spurring lawyers, bar associations, judges, and other legal professionals to lead the nation in pursuing justice for all and demanding liberty.